Hello and welcome. My name is Jackson Choate and this is our Montana Grizz Dynasty on NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamped Mods and I'm very excited to bring you this last game of the season. That's right, it is the finale, the national championship against the Miami Hurricanes. Number three versus number one. And it's coming up next here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead. And if you're not, oh well. Thank you so much for watching either way. Thank you everyone who's subscribed to the channel already. And let's get this thing going. I'm gonna go ahead and fire my guys up, show you all the uniforms, and I will see y'all on the field. Pre-game festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. And we are off. It will not be Bergen returning this one. It will not be Deck returning it. All right, so here's our first drive for this national championship game in our Montana Grizzlies dynasty. Gilman will take it for eight. For second and short here, it looks like we're going to have somebody blitzing around the edge. Hopefully Gilman can pick him up. We're going to stick with it and run Bergen around there. Give him a little spin move and a juke, and Bergen has the first and seven yards for his first rush of the game. Here's Gilman again with the counter. He'll cut it inside. Gilman with some nifty running for a first down and 11 yards. And we're going to stick with the hot hand here now. We're going to give it to Gilman again, even though we have two backs in the backfield. We like to throw the ball to Ostimo, but we'll hand it off to him every now and then. And we'll just have Gilman out here for this one on a play action. Let's see who we can find. It looks like we're going to get blitzed pretty quick. McDowell under duress. He's got a wide open Fonts with the first down. 16 for the Grizz. All right, guys, you are in for a treat today. This is going to be a really good game. Hopefully we can make the right reads. Score. He's scrambling. He lets it go. Almost had Ostimo. I just couldn't do the user right. Yeah, the safety swatted that one down. We just couldn't get it to Ostimo quick enough. But we're going to have roughly the same route over here. Ran by Racanelli. And Racanelli has a big first down. And the Grizz have a first and goal. Let's go. What a start to this game. All right, we're knocking on the door. Their goal line for the first score of the game, and we're going to have Gilman go around the edge with the toss, and he just can't get there. All right, so the run play didn't work. We're going to try a little bit of a play-action boot here. See if we can get McDowell bootlegged out to the edge. Maybe he can find X. I'm going to throw it to him, and it's the tight end Eric Barker for the touchdown. And Clifton McDowell's first touchdown pass of this national championship game. Let's go, Grizz. Miami couldn't do anything on their first drive, so we're going to take McDowell here with this quarterback wrap and see how many yards he can get. Looks like six. Now we'll bring both of our backs out. I like Bergen over here. If he's not there, we should have X over there, Keelan White, breaking over the middle of the field. Here's the play action. It's Bergen all day. Bergen has it. And he's down at the 15, but the ball's out. Hopefully we can get a challenge here because that was a great play by number five. Running the go route down the sideline, making an amazing catch. I think he's down. I think we can get his knee down and we can get a reversal on this call. Here we go. The big zebra shirts out here under the hood. I think we're going to get an elbow or a knee down before the ball comes out. That's a great play by Bergen. I'd hate for us to have it taken off the board. There we go. All right. So his knee or his elbow was down. All right. We got Racanelli with a slant. We got Bergen with a stop route. If none of that's open, we'll have Fonts with an out route. Gilman with the little. I like it. It's Fonts. Touchdown. Grizz. Two touchdown passes for Clifton McDowell in the first quarter. And we're up to a 13-0 lead. What a dart. What a route. 
Great play over there. And the Grizz are scheming it up today. All right, so that's the end of the first quarter. And I really like the way the college football playoff patch looks on our uniforms. But Miami scored on a kickoff return. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And we'll take this return to the house, hopefully with Bergen. He takes it five yards deep in the end zone. He'll come around. Can he get the edge? No, he can't. And he'll be short of the 20. All right, so here we go. Trips to the left. We're going to run a little play action since we ran the ball so good in the first quarter. Let's see what we got here. We wanted to throw it to A, but we couldn't. So we'll stiff arm instead. <laughs> And that kind of worked out. All right, so that was a big run on first down. This time we're going to come out under center. Hopefully they'll think this is a run and we can hit Bergen or Schaefer over the middle. Doesn't look like they bite on the run. We got A, though. Schaefer makes a great catch, great adjustment to the ball. That was user. I'm going to toot my own horn there. Great user movement with the joystick and a great catch by Schaefer, the tight end, the big man. Let's go. All right, now we'll bring out both of our running backs. I like doing this. Three men in the backfield. And we had Ostimo, but we're going to get Gilman over here late, and he's got a first down too, so it's all right. That works out. All right, now we're going to keep both of our backs out here. We're going to see if we can hit Racanelli for the touchdown this time. We had him. We got him. We got him, touchdown, Sawyer Racanelli, his second reception of the game goes for a touchdown. The first one was close, so it looks like I simulated the PAT, and they didn't give it to us. They said we missed, so we're going to try and put some more points on the board. Hopefully we can get a field goal or a touchdown before the half ends. All right, now we got a second and two, so we can take a shot here so that we can try and... Make sure we get a touchdown on this drive. We got our guy. It's Bergen. Threw it to him quick, and he's going to shake a man, but he loses his balance. But not before a 28-yard reception. He's got 83 on the day. And we will see Jason White out here. Will he send it away, or will the Grizz elect to go for it? They're going to go for it. And he just can't get his man. All right, so Miami scored before the half. Got a field goal, and they scored a touchdown after the half, so we're going to have to get this lead back. That's not a good start. So we'll bring both of our backs out again. We got Ostimo out here. Let's see if he can run this route to perfection, get us some good yards. Yeah, he gets 10, so we need five for the first down. Third and five coming up, and we'll bring both of the backs out for third down. Wanted to hit Fonts, but he's not going to be there. We could hit Osimo, but I think we're just going to run out of bounds after we get this first down. Reset here. We'll stay under center, though. We'll try and hit him with a play action here. We're not going to run the ball. We need some yards, big time. We got our guy. It's Fonts. All right, so here we go. This is the play that we've run all season. We tried to hit Fonts last time, and it wasn't there, but we'll hit Bergen on the sideline now. They're taking away the middle of the field, so we got to start hitting the perimeter, getting good sideline passes, keep those feet in bounds. Great catch by Bergen. And we're going to run the ball a little bit. We've been running the ball well with our quarterback. Looks like they're going to blitz us here. That's okay. We got Gilman around the edge. Gilman gets his yards back. Nice, healthy six-yard run for the average. So third and six here. You see it down at the bottom. We're three for four on third down conversions. And we got Racanelli on the sideline. Racanelli could score. Oh, he's down very short of the goal line. We could challenge it, but I don't think we're going to try our luck with it. We won our last challenge. And I think we're going to just try and punch it in here from the goal line. We need six points big, and we may go for it to get our... One point from our missed PAT back. Now here we're just going to run the ball. We still have Ostimo in. Here's the fake handoff. McDowell is all up in that thing, baby. He's got three touchdowns passing, and there's his first of the day running one in. And we're going to go for two right here. All right, guys, here we go. Let's try and get this thing in the end zone here. 
We got Ostimo. He got jammed at the line, but he releases just in time for McDowell to find him right over the middle of the field. Two point conversion is good. All right, so Miami had a very long drive where they could not put points on the board and Gilman will take it right up the gut for nine on our first play of this one. We need to hold on to this lead if we want to be national champions. The Montana Grizzlies are doing everything they can to keep McDowell safe. We're going to run the ball again now. Gilman has nowhere to go, but he will get two. We'll throw the ball a little bit. But we need to take care of the football. We got Racanelli who has come up huge in this national championship game. Sawyer Racanelli is one yard away from having 100 yards in a national championship game. And McDowell bulldozing over the opposition will run another pass play. See if we can find somebody deep for a touchdown that would extend our lead he scrambles. we're just gonna go with fonts and fonts can't hang on and that will stop the clock for miami and it will bring up third down here and we're just gonna go for this thing we're gonna try and see how far we can air it out see if we can get somebody open doesn't look like we will mcdowell will run oh my goodness he fumbled but it will go out of bounds and we have the first down. Timeout number one for the Canes. They have two remaining in a four point ball game. It's gonna be a bootleg. You know how dangerous McDowell can be around the perimeter and he gets it within inches of the first down marker. We're gonna try and protect this ball. Call it what you wanna. We're being very conservative here. We got good blocks. We got an edge for McDowell, and he shoved out of bounds. Another first, and Miami has no timeouts. So we'll run this clock a little bit. Come out here with the Wildcat, and we'll see what it does. It's got Gilman around the edge to the pylon, leaping in, touchdown Grizz. What a national championship game performance from the boys from up north. In the mountains. Coming down to Texas for the national championship. I don't know what we're doing here with this shot of the football just slowly moving. And we'll kick this field goal just so we make sure we don't miss it. There it is. Up and through. It is good. We'll see what Miami wants to do. And the Miami Hurricanes. Score comes so close, but no cigar smoking at the end of this game as McDowell will take his knee. We have 20 seconds left in the ball game. And we'll go ahead and do it one more time for you. Thank you again, everybody who subscribed to this channel throughout this season. You know how we do it. We kneel with two seconds so that it looks realistic so that everybody's not just standing around and they can go ahead and dap up and we can go ahead and let you guys go. Lift up old Bobby Hawk, his first national championship as the head coach of Montana. The Grizzlies are undefeated in our dynasty. That's why it's called a dynasty because you're supposed to take your team through the gauntlet, through the schedule, every day take them to the gridiron, whoever steps on your turf gets demolished. That's how a dynasty's supposed to go. We had some close games. We had some blowouts. We've talked over Brad all season, and we're going to keep doing it here while Bobby Hawk lifts that thing. Let's go. National champs. You'll see it on the newspapers back home in Montana. What a season. I'm so happy. I actually got off my butt, did some YouTube, and <laughs> did some YouTube, and I'm so glad I uploaded these videos for you guys. We haven't had a whole lot of views. You know, we, we've had we've had some great subscribers. I, I can't say enough about you guys. 
100 subscribers is I didn't think I'd get to it honestly and I, I have been a little bit inconsistent towards the end of the summer I've just been working hard trying to get enough money to where I can pay rent and afford to buy a PS5 so that I can play this college football 25 I'm so happy and thankful that I get to play this game though because this college football revamped crew has put in so much time and effort to make this game playable but with college football revamped and what these men and women have gone through and put in all the all the work all the hours to make this game what it is I'm so grateful to them I'm so grateful for them to working on to be working on college football 25 all that it's just incredible that we're here in 2024 with a college football game coming out officially and we're not sitting here doubting it and you know we're happy with what we're getting even though it may not be as good as NCAA 14 or NCAA football 06 this is gonna be an amazing time I just can't thank you guys enough for watching my videos subscribing to my channel and once again thank you guys so much um I've just been too busy to kind of work on YouTube because I don't get any money from these videos. The one thing y'all can do to help me out is subscribe. And y'all been doing a great job of that. Also like the video. If you like it, comment below what you didn't like about it if you didn't like the video. Because I need to learn how to get better at this. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys again. Y'all are the best. Greatest audience on YouTube. Best subscribers on any channel. It's right here at the Red Sea, man. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a great day. Football season is upon us. The Grizz are national champions. I can't even. I, that's it. Y'all have a great day. Peace.